Good morning everybody, it's Belinda here from Visualize NZ. I'm going to work today on a design team project for Creating with Jovi. So Creating with Jovi, all her links will be down in the description box. So please do go along and check out her Etsy and her YouTube channel, her Instagram, etc. I'm working with the kit this month called Coffee Time. And I've made up this little concertina journal and I've never done one of these before. So I did do the, the actual journal base uh, off camera because I, I was just playing and seeing how it went. And I'm pleased with it. Like I'm really happy with it. And I'm going to do the decorating or some of the decorating anyway uh, on camera. Sorry, I'm just fiddling with my mats down here. They were slightly off and it was bugging me. So this is uh, the front cover. Uh, this front cover and the back cover are both um, scrapbooking paper. It's called A Brutiful Day. And it's from Craft Smart. Sorry, I just had to look over to the side to see what it was. So Brutiful Day by Craft Smart is this paper pad. Uh, I don't know if it's still available no idea but that's one sheet and I cut it down size and put a sheet a bit of it on the back and a bit on the front so let's open it up I've also added two coffee dyed pieces of paper which you'll see here so this is one of the sheets of coffee dyed paper and then until we get to the end piece of coffee dyed paper it's all digitals and so this is the one half of the digital that's the other half so they're all folded in half and I'm really, really pleased. Uh, the papers are just really gorgeous. They coordinate together beautifully. Um, through my construction, I did have a bit of white showing on the joins. So I just went ahead and uh, put vintage photo down all the joins. They're just really pretty papers. There's some florals. There's lots of coffee-related motifs. Uh, for the coffee lover, it's a perfect digital kit it really is um, really lovely okay and then here's the other bit of coffee dyed paper at the end onto our scrapbook paper and then we keep going so that's the other half of that coffee dyed bit of paper hopefully you can see all that in screen and so I used all of the digital pages that are in the kit I think there's about 12 give or take, I can't quite remember, um, and then I just added the coffee dyed pages so that it ended, excuse me, uh, ended on a, the right way that I wanted it to end, um, if I didn't add the coffee dyed paper I would have had to cover one of these pages, and I didn't want to do that, I wanted all of it to be seen, just beautiful. Love these brick and wood textures. I think they're super gorgeous. Little coffee table down the bottom here. Just really lovely. And then you end back here. So you just keep flipping through to the end and then you keep flipping. And you just keep going around in circles. And I think that is so much fun. So I have already cut out all the ephemera so it's all been fussy cut ready to go apart from two pieces that I want to do with fancy decorative edge scissors scissors blah, blah, blah. get my words out uh, so I've left a bit around them so that when I cut them I'm not trying to cut right against the edge because that's harder to do so we've got all sorts of bits here we've got cute coffee cups and motifs we've got lots of um, quotes and words uh, some tickets a few tags and journal cards and you know lots of fun coffee coffee bits and pieces there's a guest check um, some postage oops there's a little ink bottle there another ticket um, a coffee ring which is super fun some wax seals not the actual wax seals, just the images of the wax seals. Uh, some postage stamps. All part of the ephemera that goes with this kit. So that's what I'm going to be playing with. I also have a couple of pieces of the scrapbook paper that were left over from this K2 
cover that I did so we can use those and I've also grabbed out a couple more sheets from the beautiful day so there's this one I don't know if you can see it's got tiny little white coffee cups on it and pink and then this journal card cut apart one which I thought we could make some fun pockets and things with so first up I think I am going to do uh, yeah, I've got two specific things actually three specific things in mind that I want to do and it's like which one do I start with I think I'll start with this one we'll just go with it I'm not sure what page it's going to go on um, first off I want to just cut this it's coffee o'clock piece out from the rest so how are you all today I hope you're having a wonderful day I'm filming this ahead because uh, this will go up Wednesday and I am going to be out all day tomorrow which is Tuesday so I won't have a chance to do it tomorrow so I'm filming this on a Monday afternoon so it's really late in the day because I was just having so much fun making the concertina journal that it, uh, I was just really relaxed and flowing with it watching some movies and things like that as I was crafting and so yes we got to after four o'clock and it's like crikey I better actually do this journal uh, this video rather or it's not going to be up on time so I don't know what page this is going to go on yet I like the coffee bean texture on that so we've got the same symbols at the top and bottom so I don't mind if we cover one of them and make a nice big pocket I think okay so I'm going to do a gusseted pocket I think well not I think I know that's what I want to do so just folding up a little bit making sure that I don't go into that design on the bottom Oops, don't fold in the design on the sides either. This is quite thick paper, very stiff, verging on cardstock. Um, so it's a little bit of effort. I almost cut it off there, but that's okay. I'm just going to check size-wise. Yep, we're looking good. So I'm just lining up the edges. And if I line up the edges, then theoretically, the fold should be straight. In my experience, it's not foolproof, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Right, I'm going to snip out these corners so they don't cause any additional bulk. That one... And this one. There we go. And I'm also just going to take a sliver off the top here. So that it doesn't show. So when it's on a page, if I didn't snip those off, you would see the top of that flap at possibly above or at least level with the pocket. Whereas if you take that little sliver off, uh, then it doesn't show. Just for those that might perhaps be new to making journals or something and might not know that little handy tip, I am going to, where's my hole punch, sorry for the reach, I'm going to take a little thumb notch out of the middle, um, lining it up, just eyeballing, go about there, and let's do some inking. Because I think, you know, if inking doesn't go with a coffee theme, what does? You know what I mean? It's like, this is just perfect coffee coordinating. Even though I'm using vintage photo and not coffee coloured ink. It's just the brown family. You could use coffee ink, you could use um, sepia, walnut stain, you know, whatever... You don't need the hair in there. I think it was actually cat fur rather than hair. And my nose is already going. 
it's fine in between videos my nose is fine as soon as i get on a video my nose wants to run it's just all sorts of peculiar all right and i don't think i'm going to add any further decoration to that um i'm just going to let that speak for itself because it's got words it's got icons it's got background texture i mean how easy is that Right, I might just give that an extra little burnish. It's feeling quite stiff. Oops, run off the desk. That's how hard I was pressing. Right. Okay, let's put some glue on and get it stuck down. And then we'll have our first pocket done. Gosh, I'm really quite warm uh, now. It was very, very wet this morning. Not super cold, but, you know, winter, it's co on the cold side. But today, this afternoon it's come out all windy and warm and, of course, the fire's going. It's like, yeah, it's quite toasty in here now. And I'm feeling quite warm. Okay, now let's see if we can get this down going to turn it sideways so I can line it up, hopefully. There we go. So we've got a nice big pocket there that we can put a really big journal card or tag inside of. And I think that's just very cool. I love that um, gold foiling too very pretty adds a bit of light and sparkle in there okay so that was the first thing the second thing I had in mind with these was this one over here so again I'm going to first trim up out of the sheet I don't know if you can hear the wind um, making the clear light on the deck beside me um, buckle and, and move right now let's find a page that we might like to put this on it's going to be a pocket I think if it fits I um, haven't entirely worked out whether it fits or not we want it there we could put it over the back here there's a bit of blue up here, so a bit of blue might work. I think it will fit. What I want, to, I'm trying to work out whether there's a dashed line around the circle, whether I cut around that dashed line or whether I cut around the gold line. And it's actually not printed straight, but that's okay. Um, we'll just do whatever. Um, I think the gold line. I'm going to go with the gold line. So I'm just going to cut to that gold line and make a little circle pocket, which I think is quite fun too. Oops, there's a bit of ink crumb, sponge crumb there. I wonder where that came from. So yes, I've had this interesting day that's been both busy and relaxed. Like, I've been busy doing things, but relaxed in the process of doing those things. Hope that makes sense, but that's how I've felt today. So it's been actually rather lovely. I do want to get into the office, but I'm seriously running out of time to do that. So it might be a case where I just go into the office, turn the heater off, because it's been on all day in preparation for me to go in there. And say, well, it'll have to be later in the week. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a few minutes because there are some things I need to print out, even if I don't actually do any digital work. Yeah, isn't that cute? And isn't it reminiscent of like a coffee coaster? So I think that works really well if we do... Just trying to work out where to put the glue. 
Okay, so I'm going to go kind of um, straightish, I think. Straight down the sides. Hopefully you can see this. And hopefully I glue it on straight. So I'm going to go straight there and then I'm going to follow the curve of the bottom roughly. Just making sure I put plenty of glue on there. And now, so it says drink coffee and do good. Well, that seems like a fair thing to do. So we will get into using the ephemera that came with the kit, but I just wanted to get these things in. Um, so we have, this is a bit wide, um, maybe this fits this bit, a bit narrower, no, not really. Um, whatever we put in there, so have a nice pocket in there. Okay, that's that. Now the other thing I had in mind, and I did have a page sorted out, was this page, is a side pocket with this beautiful pink paper. Because um, I can cover this side and we're just losing some of the background imagery. We've still got the flowers at the bottom. So I'm just going to take my pencil and make a little mark about where I want it. Maybe a little bit deeper. Go there. And there. Right, hopefully that's accurate enough. Which way do I want to cut it first? It's always tricky with a 12 by 12 sheet because my mat isn't big enough unless I turn it sideways, but we'll just wing it. We'll hope for the best, move some stuff out the way. Gosh, it's been half an hour lining things up on my mat. That's riveting entertainment, isn't it? Right, I think we're good there. And that's annoying because that's right in the middle. So I need to move my little mark so it's actually on a line. There we go. And I want to go down to about that line up there that I can see. So I am going to look at the coffee cups and see they look fairly mm, not quite we are off a little bit that's a bit better i think so we're going to go about there and hope for the best right and let's line this one up on the line I'm surprised all the cats are inside on a warm afternoon. I thought they'd all be outside. But I guess it's getting on towards dinner time for them. So they're like, no, we're just, we're just hanging out until we get fed. I think they're out there. Right. Hope that's not painful watching me do that. make sure I get the coffee cups up the right way and I'm going to put a thumb notch in so reaching up again um, might put it near the top rather than in the middle just to make it a little bit different a little bit interesting yep and ink it up first I didn't bother inking the um, the round one because it had the gold around it so I didn't want to dull the gold. Uh, this one does need decorating up. It's fairly plain. So I'll glue it in and then I can decorate it up uh, at any stage. 
I'll do that with the ephemera, the kit ephemera. This paper look works really well with this kit. I was pleased that I had this in my stash. Okay, let's glue it on. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put a fabric flip in this one or not. Um, we'll see. I haven't pulled anything out for that, so definitely won't be in this video if I do. And the beauty about this, I discovered this journal, is it actually lays perfectly flat. You know, whatever page you turn to, it's just flat. So it's got less pages than a typical journal I'd make. But I just love that it's like flat. You know, obviously as if this is a bit higher, then this one isn't as flat, but it still sits flat. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, there's our little side pocket. So let's see, in amongst the ephemera, what we might like to decorate it with. There's this cool little uh, flower feed and salt receipt. It's kind of fun. It's, um, the image was, what am I trying to say? The piece of article that this was taken from had a bit cut off so I did when I cut it out I also cut that off need to ink it I think so I can get it better sorry I'm tending to do this off camera a little bit to avoid the sponge crumbs going everywhere so they end up in my lap rather than on my project so I do apologize because that means I'm off camera but I'm just inking nothing super exciting Kind of like that on an angle. And then we could add a receipt. Uh, not a receipt, a ticket, sorry. Um, it's got some wax seals. What about a wee latte? At the top there. I like that. That's working for me. I'm going to go with it. I'm trying to make snappy decisions. So again, just inking around these pieces. Right, now let's glue them down. So, sorry, I'm going to have to... Trying to reach around the camera. I think I've picked up the wrong glue stick I have. So I am going to have to reach. I was trying to avoid reaching under the camera again. Didn't work. <laughs> you may have noticed it didn't work so well for me. I still ended up having to. So let's put this on a little bit of an angle. Just for fun. There we go. I want the ticket, but I want the seal under the ticket. So we'll put the seal down first. It's like a um, wreath. Wreath of leaves. And now we tick it. Come on, I changed my glue page, I think. Yep, and I forgot to ink this, didn't I? Okay, let's quickly do that. I haven't added any book page at all. What's wrong with me? <gasps> Goodness. I don't think it really needed it, because I've got, you know, a number of elements here. If anything, I could add a wee bit under this but I'm not going to I don't think it needs it I think it's all good as is yeah I 
I'm going to strike. Move this to the pile of ephemera. I'm going to change my glue page while I think of it. So it's ready for my next thing. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So we've got three pockets so far that we need to put things in. Um, there's a few like little journal cards and tags and things. Um, but I'm feeling like most of them are a bit small for the, well, at least for the two of the pockets. Um, although that, that could work in there. I don't know if I'd want to use two the same colour. Uh, there's also a couple of postcards. How about our circle pocket? The only problem I'm going to have with this journal is I'll be flipping backwards and forwards looking for where I've put things. <laughs> it's like, I can't find it. Oh, that's right. It's on the other side. Actually, I quite like that in there because of the blue. Okay. Now, these, the ephemera I only printed on photocopy paper. Uh, the journal pages I printed on presentation paper, so they're nice and sturdy, and then they're, they're two layered. So they're really nice and stable, but these need backing, because it's, you know, it's just thin. Thin paper. Um, my husband bought me a couple of rolls of this craft paper. Um, 10 meters per roll it was on clearance at the local supermarket and he's been given giving me daily gifts in August because my birthday was last week and I thought he would stop you know on the day of my birthday but no he's still coming out and giving me a gift every morning which is super sweet and so this one I think was yesterday's gift and he'd given me a roll of it previously. So I thought, let's use some of this for our backing paper. It's a little bit thicker than the painter's masking paper, which I've been using. I'm just trying to get the sticker off without damaging the paper. But I think that might be a bit pointless because the paper's sticky under the label. I'll try and do this without cutting myself or unduly damaging the paper like digging deeper than the top layer and it's got a few crinkles and things but that's all good for us isn't it so I think I'm just going to slice a section off it's going to be more than enough just trying to do it quickly so all that crunchy crunchy paper fun Yes, that will work well, and I think we've got a bit there that's not um, compromised with sticky tape or anything. Yeah, so now that I know what I'm doing with the concertina journal, I may do a, another journal with something else in the same manner. Um, if you'd like to see that, let me know. Um, I think I've got a fairly good handle on that process now. Um, it turned out to be not as hard as what I thought it was going to be, which is always a bonus. Just trying to line it up right on the edge of the paper. Well, it kind of didn't work so well, but never mind. Now I've got a big glob of glue there. Don't know how that happened. Obviously wasn't careful enough. And I'm just going to tear this bit out so I'm not fussing with the whole bit of paper. Give it a press down. It will stiffen up when that glue dries. So it's a little bit curly at the moment. It's not super thick still. But it's thick enough.
so yes i think this will be super cute in that little pocket and i might do a um a tag as well to go in a bigger tag bigger than this journal card so there's a couple of things in that pocket Cute. So I think I want to decorate this up a bit more as well. And I am thinking maybe some script. Right. Just looking for my script stamp. Did I put it away? That would be a rash thing to do. Had it out for another video earlier that I recorded earlier. Yes, I did put it away. It is very rash. do I want maybe that side or do I just want the top bit I think maybe just the top bit yes just the top bit okay that's decision is made I need paper to put underneath and what color next decision what color am I going to stamp it in I am actually thinking blue. Navy blue, so it's close to being black, but not quite. And I'm just going to try and stop at the line of text where I want to be on the, on the postcard. I'm trying not to get the next line down. we go hopefully it's straightish yeah cool I like that I think that's a fun effect I mean I could have left that for writing space because it's certainly writable on um, but I just felt like we've got writing space on the back so let's have some fun on the front Okay, I also have some coffee ring stamps. Now, did I put those away? No, I didn't. They're at the top of my desk. Right, so let's add some coffee rings. Maybe even some splatters. Oh, it's got my hair stuck with static to the bag. Ah, to the plastic acetate, whatever you call it. The plasticky stuff. Now, which one would we like? this one doesn't matter does it I don't know why I'm making such a meal of every little decision and I am going to use my coffee colored ink okay I think that's enough of that one I like to mix and match since you've got so many options in this we set I do like to mix mix them up maybe this one I don't think I've used this one yet yes that's fun that's fun let's see if we do the other side of it Yeah, I like stamping them off too, you may have noticed, uh, rather than having the whole thing on. I guess it depends on the size of your ephemera as well. If you've got a big piece of ephemera, then you probably will want to put some in the middle, or, you know, fully contained within the border, so to speak. 
but I do like just having them off. Like, you didn't mean to put your coffee cup down on it, but you, you did. <laughs> That's what you managed to do. Uh, we've already got a stamp here, so we don't need to add a stamp. There's also a slightly bigger version um, as a fussy cut in the kit. Do we need anything else? Do we want a splatter? We could go with a splatter. Maybe a real splat splat. Bring back the ink. And this one I will put fully on, I think. And let's go there. Cool, that's fun. Very much like the effect. I don't know why I waited so long to get a coffee ring stamp set. I've been wanting one for years and I'd put it in a cart on whatever platform I was using and then I'd take it back out. It's like, so good to finally have it. Stop mucking around. Right, so that one. Ah, do want to ink it though. Before we pop it in, let's just quickly ink it. Again, I'm off camera. My apologies. It's also a bit quicker if I'm, you know, not worried about it looking pretty as I do it in terms of, you know, looking pretty, the action of it looking pretty for you. If I'm doing it off camera, then I can just quickly do it. And we're done. So that's fun in there. And I think... It's probably right the right width. Um, so if I make a tag and make it taller to go in behind or maybe even slightly narrower, I think that'd be really cool. So maybe I should write myself a list to do's as a tag for this pocket. Because um, I don't, none of these tags are tall enough for what I'm after for that pocket. Okay, so we've taken care of that one uh, to that point. How are we going on time? Oh gosh, we've used up quite a bit of time. I need to make something from scratch for this one. So that's for another day, I think. Um, just thinking about some of these other pieces that are journal cards. They could make a little tuck or something. Or even a paper clip, altered paper clip could be, could be fun. It's a possibility. And we've got this side pocket here. Again, I think I'm thinking I want something bigger in there than some small pieces. Maybe a small piece with a bigger piece might be a good way to go. So let's quickly whip up this tag because I think that would actually look quite nice in there. So again, it needs backing. Grab back my bit of paper here. So I'll get this tag done and then that's probably going to be it for today's video. And I really have run out of time to go and do some work in the office. Because so it's now 10 minutes to 5. And hubby will be home at half past 5. So there's not a lot of time left to uh, be getting stuck on the computer. Because I find it's a real time sucker. You know, you think you'll go in there, do a quick wee job, and like three hours later, you realise how desperate you are to go to the toilet. <laughs> At least that's my experience. It may not be yours. <gasps> the joys of getting older, eh? Although I guess, you know, a few hours is probably about ready to for a bathroom visit. Because, you know, I usually head in there with a cuppa too.
So yes, I'll finish up this video, then I'll go turn the header off because it's it's not going to be happening today. And then I'll probably take my shoes and socks off and put some nice snuggly socks on. Um, because of the surgery and you know recovering, healing, all that sort of jazz, I'm supposed to wear proper shoes and socks. Um, you know, proper shoes so that I walk properly and um, you know all those sorts of reasons but I'm not used to that when I'm at home I'm normally in loose footing loose footing loose fitting footwear and comfy socks and um, you know just it's a bit weird wearing sneakers around the house it's just not me it's not normal right I think I do want a hole in here because it's already got the, the circle so I'm going to grab out my crocodile I probably should wait a bit for that glue to dry but hey you know we live dangerously don't we and I think I'm going to put one of my new eyelets and washers in there So we want that one. And I'll probably make a whole reinforcer as well, I think, to go. Oops, I didn't quite get that centered. That's okay. Put that there and this little washer with the curved side facing out. I'm just going to make sure I've got that right. Yes. And then the base. I do find, I love the washer. I love the effect it has. But I do find it a bit more tricky because you've got more moving parts to try and hold in place. And squeeze. And I forgot to do the whole reinforcer. Ha <laughs> ha never mind it's too late now it it doesn't really need it anyway because why would I do a whole reinforcer gosh I am talking no sense I've got an eyelet I would not need a whole reinforcer because that is the whole reinforcer you were probably laughing at me wondering when I'd twigged what I'd said <laughs> well I got there eventually here we go Oh yay, I'm happy that I feel more happy to use my crocodile now that I've got those eyelets and know that they do work even though they're slightly bigger than the ones that are made for it. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to ink it up and think about what I want as a topper in there. I want some sort of topper. Do I want fabric? Do I want tulle? Do I want ribbon? String? Oh. The options the options are virtually endless aren't they embroidery thread um, twine baker's string baker's twine um, like so many options I'm not saying that I've got all those options but there are lots of options I've also got this cool let's see out of this bunch that lovely Lisa sent me if there's something we might like in here this goldy one is saying coffee to me there's a black one as well although that's the same style we've what about this one this one's a little bit different do we want a bit of black since we've got a black eyelet put a bit of the black and the gold together so we've got a couple of different textures going on only problem with this stuff is you end up with you know quite a bit of debris but that's okay it's fun debris okay let's put that through the hole what's she up to Georgie oh you see should see Georgie he's on the couch and he's upside down he's lying fully on his back with his legs up in the air. He's so cute. It's um, it's 
probably quite warm. <laughs> Right, have I got all that? I think I have got it all through the loop. Just going to see if I pull off any more bits. Okay, pop those away. Squeaky chair alert again. Uh, so... Again, thank you, Lisa, for what you sent me. And yes, I am trying to use up or use the beautiful things that you sent me and not just hoard them. So if you have that, isn't that fun? Look at that. <laughs> That's so fun. Um, so again, I just want to do something larger to go in there. But that is going to be it for today's video. This could get a bit round. I do want to put an eyelet in here as well. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do the closure yet. But I think it will be eyelet based. But yes, I have to work that one out. Uh, so thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. Go ahead and check out uh, the links for Jovi's, all Jovi's social media, uh, etc. Uh, my links are also down in the description box. So if you want to uh, check out my Etsy or Instagram etc then please go down the description box where all that information is uh, take care everybody and i shall see you back again for another video tomorrow take care everyone bye